Um, so, you know, just to, you, you got to be able to talk, you know, and you got to be able to hear what's going on. And I remember year, you know, a couple of years back, I, I listened and it drives the guys, you know, coming up through, you know, when, it, when they transmit a second alarm, I was one of the first guys to call in because I was already listening to it on the scanner. They call me a scanner buff, you know, and it used to <laughs> piss some of the guys off because <laughs> I'd take the overtime spot. Yeah, right, right, you right. Know? And, uh, but I, I just always enjoyed coming back because, you it's know, it's job. just, you know, it's still excitement, right. you know, um, and, and, and I wanted to see, you know, when I, you know, when I was working and there was a fire and, Chief called a second alarm. I wanted to make sure guys came back fast. So I always made sure I was back fast. I'd call in right away. Well, mutual aid, you know, one of the surrounding departments from us, a volunteer department, um, was operating at a house fire. And I could hear him say, um, there's a, an occupant at the back. He's in the window. We need a ladder. And nobody would answer him because that department was busy. But each department that was there had their own radio. Yeah. They had their own radio frequency. Nobody could hear. I could hear it because my scanner was picking up everybody. Right. And I could hear this department trying to get one of their guys to bring a ladder to the back. Meanwhile, I heard this department asking for orders. I heard my department call on the scene. And I heard another department doing something totally different. And they were all operating on their own frequency. And only one department knew there was somebody at that back window. And... I'm frantically, you know, uh, calling on my cell phone, trying to remember who's on the shift that day. I'm trying to get them on the cell phone to let them know, hey, there's somebody in the back. You know, yeah. somebody in the back, somebody in the back. They're calling for a ladder. Nobody's bringing them a ladder. And the kid ended up dying. Oh. But they saw him. They knew he was there, and they couldn't get that message out. Now, yeah, we didn't cause that fire. Yeah, it was somebody that you don't know. Well, it turns out that... We know we know somebody that was related to this family, and it's heartbreaking to know that maybe there was something that could have. And if they just, instead of having their own little kingdom, if they had been interoperable with everybody that was there, yeah, maybe somebody could have got this kid. Maybe they couldn't, but all likelihood, I believe they could have. You know, and um, that got me thinking. And I was a lieutenant back then. And that got me thinking. That's not a way to bait. You know, yeah, it's cool having your own radio frequency because you can talk about them and you can talk about this guy. You know, this this department, you can talk about that department, they can't hear you, you know. But they can't hear you. Yeah. And they can't, and yeah. you can't hear them. Well, and I think now, right, like resources, I mean, we're, you know, we're calling more and more extra and, resources. And that's, day, right? yeah, so, you know, the likelihood that you're going to need outside help. And when you're in trouble, if I'm in trouble... I don't care whose frequency I'm and, and who can hear me. I want somebody to hear me. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I think that's the way it should be. So, you know, so, you know, like I said, we were kind of piecing this radio system together. A lot of departments can just, they just have the budget to go out. We don't have the budget. I've been working at it a little at a time, a little at a time. And um, this was like a big deal. So I was able to get a grant right. to 100% pay for this system. That's fantastic. So now our guys, they don't have to worry about if they have the right radio on. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll have the right radio on. And it's just a matter of which channel are we yeah, operating. Yeah, switching over. Yeah. You know, and that, and that comes that comes with discipline. We'll, they'll figure, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, you know. Right. So we got a new frequency. We got a new repeater. <clears throat> you know, all this 100%. And it kind of, maybe, maybe the other department's, realize it too you know I, i'm not afraid to you know our, we made a mistake well, and it sounds it sounds like you're in a position too where departments uh, volunteer departments are relying more and more yep. upon the um the everyday availability of your department now and so if you're going to have that type of back and forth um there needs to be a clear line of communication yeah. no doubt yeah because yeah, things don't go bad just at your own fire just that's because right. absolutely just because you're there on mutual aid doesn't mean that you're not going to be the guy that's in trouble and i and I, I think that was an eye opener for a lot of the job. It definitely was an eye opener for me, and I think it was an eye opener for a lot of the mutual aid. Mm -hmm. You know, because there is, it's change. We've talked about, you know, yeah. we talked about it before. Yeah. Firemen don't like, they don't like things to stay the same 
until it changes and then they don't like to change right you know but you you gotta you gotta take the, you know it's we're humans nobody does like to change but you get used to it if you know you, you'll you'll get used to it these guys will figure it out it'll become second nature um hopefully the next time something goes wrong those guys are able to troubleshoot what's what's going on and they they're able to self-rescue even before the fast team can get to them like it goes that quick and smooth right right Radio. Thanks for tuning in. Catch up with us on social media. We got SoundCloud, National Fire Radio, YouTube, National Fire Radio, Instagram, National Fire Radio, and Facebook, National Fire Radio. Guys, check us out. Take care. Be safe.